Haggai had been called by God because the people of his day, the nation of his day, had neglected to rebuild the house of God. It was lying in ruins. And as a consequence, God said, because your nation is not focused on me, because the life of your nation is not centered on me, because you are not pursuing a vibrant, active worship of me, you've allowed my house of worship to fall into ruins. For this reason, your economy is in a slump. You've got no product. Your crops aren't growing. When you make money, you put it in a hole, a bag that's got holes in it, and it dribbles out on the ground. And the reason that your barns are empty and your fields are dry is that you as a people, as a nation, have not been worshiping me. So Haggai brings this word to the people, and the Spirit of God quickens the spirit of the governor, the high priest, and the people, and they come together to work on the temple of God. So that they begin to do the work they needed to do to refocus the heart of the nation under the direction of the governor, by the way, a political figure, to refocus the attention of the people on the worship of God. Uh, and part of the reason for that is if you want a prosperous economy, you've got to have a vibrant spirituality. When you worship God, you are not just doing the right thing in terms of your relationship with God. You are doing your patriotic duty. It is your patriotic duty to worship God in order that we may have a prosperous and flourishing economy. 